Welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Chris. My name's Chris Thielman. You're at the College of DuPage. Today we're gonna to be making a spicy shrimp crostini. It's got three basic parts. It's very, very simple. One thing I wanted to uh, say before we begin, these uh, appetizers that we're gonna make are very, very simple. This one, it'll only take a small amount of effort and you don't have to add all the ingredients. You can add a few more, it's entirely up to you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our crostinis. Now we've got 10 shrimp, and so we need to make 10 crostinis. And so what you're gonna do is you're going to cut your French bread so that you have 10 of them, and I like them just slightly bigger like this. I like them on the bias just a little bit so they have a little more surface area because I think they're a little more interesting for the guests to eat. So we've got 10 slices, and then what we're gonna do is take some olive oil and drizzle a little olive oil on each one. Now this is a little trick of the trade that we do all the time. If you've noticed, we put olive oil in a ketchup squeeze bottle, and that's because it makes it very easy to apply to pans or rolls or whatever you want to put it on. All right, and then we're going to take some garlic, and we're going to drizzle just a little bit of garlic on top, just a teeny bit, maybe, oh, I don't know, hardly any, just a touch. Then you're going to take some Parmesan cheese, sprinkle the Parmesan on top, and then this is going to go in a 400 degree oven for approximately five minutes until they're golden brown. That's all you have to do. So this is gonna be the base of the shrimp crostini. And now for the second and third part of this recipe, we're going to saute the shrimp and make the sauce. So I'm gonna do two things at once. And you could do either one of these the night before if you wanted. So what I've done is I added one cup of heavy cream to my sauce pot. And I'm also going to add two ounces of what is called demi-glace, D-E-M-I-G-L-A-C-E, demi-glace. This is a pre-prepared product that we make in the field, but you can now bake, uh, you can now buy it at the store, which I've seen. So it's uh, something that's new, which is really excellent. Now we're gonna take some olive oil, add it to the pan, and we are going to add our marinated shrimp, which has been peeled and deveined. You can buy the shrimp just like this, already peeled and deveined. So it's very, very convenient. And I marinated it overnight. Again, if you did not want to marinate this overnight, it's not a problem at all. You don't have to marinate it overnight. So you could just saute it, and you can see that this will take approximately one minute on each side to cook. So it's very, very fast. So now it's ready to be turned because my saute pan was nice and hot. And remember, seafood is done when it reaches approximately 145 degree internal temperature. So that's not really hot. A lot of people overcook their seafood all the time. So I never recommend that. So our sauce here is cooking and I have the heat up on medium high, as you can see, and so it is reducing the cream. So what we're shooting for is to reduce the cream down to a thick consistency. This shrimp is now done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, a, a small plate and we are going to move the shrimp out of here because we don't want it to continue to cook. So our shrimp is now done and that's ready for us to build them. And now we are gonna take our sauce and we're gonna let this cook for approximately mm, five minutes or so. Okay, about five minutes have passed and our sauce has reduced down to a slightly thick consistency. We don't want the sauce really thin because then it'll just run right off the crostini. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our finished browned crostini right here and we're gonna put them on a plate. Again, if you wanted to do this a day ahead, not a problem at all. Remember, today is all about fast, easy, tasty appetizers. So now we're gonna take our shrimp and we're gonna place a shrimp on top of each one. And if you wanna use your fingers, please feel free to use your fingers. I'm on camera, so that's why I'm using the tongs. I always use my fingers. All right, so this makes 10, which is a pretty good amount. And there we go. Now, it's all about the garnish. 
So what we have to do is we have to garnish this so it finishes it off nicely. Now we're going to take our sauce right here, which has been reducing. We have chives for garnish. We have some sliced thin prosciutto, which I sauteed until it's very crisp. And we have lemon that we're going to put just a little bit of zest on top. So the first thing I'm going to do is put just a little bit of sauce on top of each one of these. Now remember, if you wanted to serve the sauce on the side, you could. The nice thing about cooking is you can do whatever you like with all of this stuff. It's really a, a wonderful field. So you can see it's only about, oh, one or two teaspoons each. And now we're going to take our garnish. This is a bit of chive, adds a little color. All I did was chop it up, very simple. And again, if you want to get creative and go like that on the plate, hey, get creative, do that on the plate, looks great. People think you planned it. And then we're going to put a little prosciutto on top. The prosciutto is going to add just a touch of saltiness and an interesting flavor. And then last but not least, we're going to put a bit of a lemon zest on it. Now, I use a microplane most of the time, but a lot of people don't own one. So what I did was I pulled out the old box grater here because almost everyone has one of these in their kitchen. And so all you're going to do is take and put a little bit of zest on the top. Not a lot, just a little bit. It again adds a little bit of flavor because basically what you're shooting for is layers of flavor. So you've got a crostini with garlic and parmesan, you've got some shrimp, you've got a little bit of prosciutto, just a touch of lemon and a little chive. So there you go, fast, easy appetizer. Again, you can prepare most of this a day ahead and then finish it the day of the party. Thanks a lot, have a great day, enjoy your crostinis.